guys. And welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. And today, I am going to share with you my owls, TBR. I'm going to tell you the subject that I show. Or the career, I should say, I chose. I chose. I want to be a Hogwarts professor. Oh, if you guys don't know what the Owls Readathon is, it is hosted by Book Roast. And I will link her announcement video down below. If you hear any whining or anything, just ignore it. Dogs being mean to other dogs, it's whatever. Um, but. I'm going to get on here and talk about my ordinary wizarding levels, which, yes, is from Harry Potter. Oh, let me back this up just a little bit and see if that's a little bit better. But, and I'm dropping things. Hold on. But I just wanted to get on here and share with you what I plan on reading this month. And I chose, she did this really creative thing where there's 12 prompts. And then you've got your careers and stuff like that. And I had, like I said, I chose to be a Hogwarts professor. Because I decided, um, if I ever got to go to Hogwarts, why the hell would I ever leave? Let's be honest. And there's little things that I wrote down on this. For a Hogwarts professor, you must pass seven hours, which means you have to read seven books. I'm planning on at least eight because I still want to, you have to read a subject you wish to teach, which I'm still, that's the one I'm bouncing on. I have two subjects, so I have a book for both, so I will just decide. Um, you have to read Defense Against the Dark Arts and five additional subjects. So I'm going to do the eight books that are a priority and tell you what subjects and why I chose them for that. And then I will read you the last four because I have a book for all the prompts. If I get a hair up my ass, I want to do all 12. Whatever. Ignore everything out there. But the two that I'm having issues with, can't decide if I would be a charms professor or a care of magical creatures professor. How about you guys comment down below and just let me know what you guys think I would be. Would I teach charms? Or would I teach the fluffy unicorns to students? But we'll start with Care of Magical Creatures, which is to read a book that has a land animal on the cover. And for this prompt, I went a little dark. You'll see I, uh, I went a little interesting with some of my reads. They're watching Breaking Bad in there. Ignore them. But I chose Pet Cemetery by Stephen King because the movie comes out next month and I really want to see it. It comes out in April or May. Or, I don't know. Um, I know nothing about this except something about a cat that gets buried and comes back to life and then something about a boy that gets buried and comes back to life in the cemetery and murder and horror and that's all I want to know going in. Yeah. And then Charms is to, is age line, read an adult novel. Now, I have this book in place because I have three books by this author, two of which are audiobooks. And, excuse me. And one of those audiobooks I have in an ebook form, so I haven't quite decided how I want to read it yet. But that is Taylor Jenkins Reads, Maybe in Another Life, or I could listen to Daisy Jones and the Six which I've heard it's better to listen than read it. Or I have their, or her really short, like, 52-page book. Haven't decided, but I know it's going to be a Taylor Jenkins read book. I also need to read Evelyn Hugo, so that one may get chosen. I've already read Evelyn Hugo, because it's amazing, but it's the group book for the back of the bookshelf for April. But yeah, so I've chosen that. And then for Defense Against the Dark Arts, it's Reducto, a title that starts with the letter R. 
I had several books on my list, and then Book Rose herself chose one of these for the prompt, and I was like, oh, I have volume one. I've been wanting to read that graphic novel. Why not choose it for this? So I chose Rat Queens, Volume 1, Sassy and Sorcery. All I know is this is about a group of girls in a Dungeons and Dragons like thing. And I've been very curious, so thought why not with this readathon? Next, I chose Ancient Runes as my next subject that I would like to accomplish, which is to read a retelling. I chose Ancient Runes because I really want to read this book and selecting it kind of pushes me to actually have the time to read it. And that is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kimmerer. Um, Beauty and the Beast retelling where beauty has several palsy. That's all I know and that's all I want to know. And gorgeous cover, don't you think? Y'all know me, I don't really like to know a lot of synopses going into a lot of books, but yeah. Next, I chose Arth Arthrismacy, which is a work written by more than one author. This book was on my March TBR as a buddy read, and we didn't get to it that month. So me and Talia, which I'll link her Instagram down below escape reality for now and we're going to be buddy reading slasher girls and monster boys which is a horror anthology where every short story is a retelling of a slasher flick and i think that is just fascinating i had started one of them i started all over and we're gonna read like one a night I'm super excited. Let's hope none of these fall. I'm going to do this. Um, the next subject I chose was divination. Because we all know. I'm a witch. Might as well. But it's also because Melanie, from Completely Melanie, I'll link her down below too because why not. Um, gave me this book this arc for Christmas and I really want to read it and when I thought of a book set in the future this was the first book that I thought of she's currently reading it and absolutely loving it and crying her eyes out and blah 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 as far as I know this book should already be out because it came out comes out this month it's either already out or it'll be out by the time you see this video because I don't know when this is going up but I really want to read Interment by Samara Ahmad, which is about a, fu a near futuristic United States where Muslims are put into concentration camps. And it's all about how in our present climate and everything that's happening, what could go wrong and stuff like that. And I'm very fascinated by that idea. Because with our current climate, this could become a reality. And I really don't want to see this as a reality, if that makes sense. So. And then I chose Muggle Studies, which is one that I probably wouldn't really take. But the book, <laughs> it's a contemporary. And I'm buddy reading. For Muggle Studies, you read a contemporary. And I'm buddy reading this book with... Um, completely Melanie, or Mel, Emily, and Kieran, from Kieran Reads, and we'll be reading, and I think we might be adding a couple more people, don't know, and this will be my first time ever reading the actual book by this author that's not written with another author, and that is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. All I know is something about a mystery and something about money, mystery, and OCD. That's kind of all I really want to know going in. 
should be a really interesting read because I've heard really, really good things about it. And if I like it, I'll read Fault in Our Stars finally and Abundance of Catherines, which I have over there. And then the last one that I have to read because it's a subject that I chose was Transfiguration. Either read a book with sprayed edges, which I've only got one book I do believe that had sprayed edges, but meh. Or read a book with red on the cover. I went with red on the cover because this book was one of my most anticipated reads last year. I got it in the one and only Alcray box I've ever gotten. And I'm kicking myself in the ass for not reading it. And that is Shadow of the Fox by Julia Kagawa. Is that cover not like everything like oh my god um all I know this is about Kitsune's having to find parts of a scroll to answer a to summon the Kami dragon to grant a wish And there's a girl who has part of it, and a guy who's hunting for it for a bad guy, and yada yada yada. Some sort of love story. And everybody who has read this has compared it to, like, anime. Like, you, it feels like you're reading an anime. And really excited about this, because I know the sequel's coming out this year. I'm sorry, guys, that I'm bad with synopsises. Eh. But you know me. But now let's go through the last four subjects, which are still in alphabetical order, because I had originally written them all down in alphabetical order, so I just thought I'd go with this. Next is Astronomy. Read a book with star in the title. And for this, which is one that I'm hoping I get to this month, at some point, it's another contemporary, which I find really weird. Because usually for things like this, I want nothing but fantasy. But and that is Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. Um, Julie at Pages and Pens suggested that I would should check out a Jen Bennett. And this just happens to be the one that I found. And it sounded interesting. Um, the Woods, the Stars, and the Boy Who Broke Her Heart. Um... It's a contemporary, so I kind of want to go in blind, but I know that it is a modern-day California version of the Montagues versus the Capulets. So why not? Next is Herbology. Read a book with, plant, with a plant on the cover. And for this, I chose a middle grade, because I don't generally pick up my middle grades that often. And I chose one that I pre-ordered this year and I'm really interested in and literally nobody is talking about. Like, nobody. And I want to know, is this a gem or is this not that good? And that is The Whispers by Greg Howard. You can see the forest in the background. I know this is about a boy whose mother disappears and tell him about his mother disappearing. He wants his mother back. Um, he's going through issues because he likes this boy at school. And something about he hears whispers from a forest. All I heard was magic forest, mother gone, LGBT with a gay, well, basically a gay 11-year-old. And I'm like, middle grade with a uh, with a gay male character? What? Huh? That? You ever got me. Next is History of Magic, a book that was published 10 years ago. I have this whole series, and I've been wanting to read it. And people have suggested it because I really love her other work. Ah, I swear I saw a folded page on the inside. That's uh, cause I did. 
I hate used copies because of that. No, I didn't. I follow receipts from that first book. Okay. But that is A Great and Terrible Beauty by Libba Bray. I want to say witches, but no one has confirmed nor denied. And I want to know what the hell is it about. So I can decide if I really want to continue on with the next two. I think the last one's almost 900 pages. But. There's that. And then last but not least, potions. Which is Next Ingredient Sequel. And for this, I chose another graphic novel. Might as well throw in a couple. You never know what I might end up reading this month. But that is I Hate Fairyland Volume 2, Fluff My Life. I really enjoyed the first um, I Hate Fairyland, so I thought I would check out the sequel. I'm really looking forward to a one that will make me laugh my ass off, and I know the first one did, so I'm super excited. So there you have it, guys. That is my TBR for... For the Owls Readathon, where I am going to be training to become a Hogwarts teacher. Like I said, comment down below and see if you. I want want to see the comments. I'm kind of curious. Do you see me as a charms professor, or do you see me as a care of magical creatures? And if you guys have read any of these books, comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Tell me. Which ones I should prioritize, which ones I should get to first, or especially out of the last four, the, well, three out of the four, because we all know I'm going to be reading the graphic novel, but if you've read any of these, let me know down below if I should prioritize any of them, should I change some of my subjects around to prioritize one of them instead. But yeah, hope you guys like this video. If you haven't yet, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe if you want more trashy commentary from me. <sighs> Your boy's a mess. It's been a tiring week, and I've got more tiring stuff to do. But I guess I will catch you on the flip side. Mm -hmm. Remember, kids, reading is what's fundamental. Bye.